I'm here for Bible time. I'm on the black rug and I wish you were here with me just like every time I'm in my classroom. I wish you were here with me, but that's okay because we're doing school together and God is good to us. So we have a new memory verse. Do you remember last week's Ephesians 425? Therefore, putting off line, let each one of you speak truth to his neighbor. All right, this week, new one in Acts, still the New Testament, and it's Acts 16, 31, okay? Is that right? Let me make sure. Acts 16, 31. Yeah, that's it. Okay, here we go. This is what someone was saying. What do we need to do to be saved? This is what was happening, okay? And he said, Paul said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, now, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's not like the first name's Lord, his middle name's Jesus, and his last name's Christ. Those are all different names for Jesus. Those all have a different meaning, like a Christ is um, a Lord, another word for Lord. So, um, Jesus is a Savior, Messiah. So, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's kind of like three names for him, okay? So, like um, Mrs. Borden, teacher, mom, right? Those three things would describe me or be like me. Okay. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Okay. That one we can get, right? Believe. Believe is kind of like we want to say our heart, but really it's a choice we make. It's a choice we make in our head to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. I'm going to do that's day to night, I think. But I'm going to use from dead to life because he gives us new life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Okay. And we're talking this week about Acts. So do you remember what we were talking about last week? Da, da, da. Are you saying it out loud? I hope. Remember, you're supposed to be talking. So don't just watch me talk. Let's pretend back and forth. Okay. We talked about Jesus beginning the church, right? He started that with Peter and John, some of the disciples. So today and this week, we're talking about the first missionary. Now, a missionary, we um, actually went over to Miss Butler's class, and we heard from a lady that does missions. Do you remember that? Um, Lisa is her name, Miss Lisa, she said. So, um, we are going to talk about Paul. Now, some of you immediately are like, oh, I know Paul. I know stories about Paul in the Bible. Um, that's awesome. So, you just keep learning, okay? We can never, never learn enough of God's words because we can always just get some new stuff. Even if we think we know that story, we can get something new, okay? So, here's what happened. Some of the people, do you remember some of the people when Peter was starting the church that they didn't want, it, they didn't want, and even when Jesus died, the Jews were saying, crucify him, kill him. They didn't believe that he was the savior of the world, and they didn't want people following him, right? And they were doing some mean things to people that were following Jesus. Well, Paul was one of those Jewish people that believed in God, but he didn't believe Jesus was the Savior. And he was going out and doing things and having people do things to hurt Christians, okay? People who said that they believed in Jesus, all right? And his name was Saul. So this is Paul we're talking about, but his name originally was Saul until God gave him a new name. All right? So... God had other plans for Saul. God has plans for us. He wants us to follow him, obey him, us to be saved. And he does things. He puts people in our lives. He opens our eyes and our ears and our hearts to understand his word. It's amazing because God saves. Jesus saves. We can tell people about Jesus, and that's what we are supposed to do. That's what a missionary does. That's what a missionary does, is tell people the good news of Jesus. But I can't make you be saved. I can't make you believe in Jesus, right? God has to open your heart and your eyes and your ears to understand his word, and then you make that choice, right? Yeah. So Saul didn't want anything to do with Jesus until one day he was traveling on the way to Damascus. It's a city, okay? 
and he was going to find Christians there to hurt them, to put them in jail, to hurt them. Um, he wanted to stop them. But on the way, a strange thing happened. So he is going, a light fell down. If you see me looking down, I'm looking at my book and my Bible. A light fell down from heaven, or excuse me, shone down, and fell all around Saul, this bright light. And the light was so bright that Saul could see nothing else. And then he heard a voice coming from heaven saying, Saul, Saul, why are you against me? And Saul says, who are you? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, the one you are fighting against. Now that's cool because even though he was hurting the people, Jesus, those are my people you're hurting. So you're hurting me because Jesus hurts when we hurt. He cares about us. He hurts when we hurt. He cares about his people. So he said, you are the one fighting against me. And Saul knew then that Jesus was God, all these things that were happening. And he says, what do you want me to do? And Jesus said, go into the city and wait until you're told next what to do. As he arose, he was not able to see. And those who were traveling with him um, had heard the sound, but they didn't hear exactly what was going on. So this was really cool. I'm going to stop because I'm going to wait for tomorrow for some of it. So I'm making sure. Okay, I'll tell you this. After three days, the Lord had a man named Ananias fall, find Saul. Now, Ananias was somebody who followed Jesus. Um, when Jesus told him to do this, he was like, oh, I'm scared of this man. Now, this is not the same Ananias that we was struck dead last week for lying. Different Ananias, so same name, different person. Um, and he was scared to go do this, but he obeyed God and he went to Saul. And as soon as he touched Saul, Saul got his eyesight back. Isn't that cool? So he witnessed and experienced a miracle and he was changed. Now we're going to stop there and we'll learn tomorrow more.